So we're here to close out Kakura week with this variation by Sirkan Yurikle called uh, Zero. It's a zero Kakuro where we've expanded the digit sets from zero to nine. So some of our normal intuitions where, for instance, you have seven, eight, nine here and think that this is always seven with one. This actually still has the options of seven with eight and zero or one for the other clues. We can go through the biggest sums, which are probably secure because they will not be able to take um, digits except on the large range. We can mark the sum of these then off and get some of these spaces. This 23 will be 689, and in this space we can't take a 9. Uh, this is also sort of large. This is 7, 9 up here, and this is 7, 9 here, and this may be where I'm going to start writing some digits in because I've intersected a given clue with a space we'll need to have the 7, not the 9, which puts in a 0, 1, 0, 1. The 7 and 4 cells is actually an extension of 7 and 3 cells. It's now just 0, 1, 2, 4. And uh, with this being a 19 coming across, they can't have a 0 or 1. It could be a 2 with an 8 or a 4 with a 6. And this is a place where we can sort of work further out, but let's take one more look at the global structure of the puzzle and catch sight of a few things. I see four long clues that have nine cells in them, and in a traditional puzzle they'd all equal 45. This is a 0 Kokoro, so they can take 10 digits, but 45 minus this value is what's missing. So 36 is 0 through 8 without the digit 9, so we can remove the digit 9 from some of those spots and make headway through it. This will also be missing the digit 9. 37 is missing the digit 8, so one key thing we haven't done is actually remove those options, but that means this is 6 with the 4, takes away these choices, and this is 44 is missing the digit 1, so when we actually get into this, uh, we can do some with that. For instance, this won't be like 0, 2, 3, not with the digit 1, which then gives us as 3, 1, 0 on the complement. If this is a 6 or an 8, if this is an 8, this will have to be 0 with a 1, and if this is a 6, this could be 0, 3, this could be 2, 1, this could be 3, 0. So we again have similar kind of constraint because we're making a value like this 8. This 5 can be 0, 2, 3, 4, leaving behind uh, 1, 2, 3, 5 down here. So we're just trying to get a little bit of headway with these values, knowing we can't get too large. This actually over here can be as large as a 6, so I'm not going to use this value yet. But my guess is that we're getting pretty close on the small number and to stuff we can do here. I jumped over it, but this 6 actually forces this 9. That actually now forces this to be a 7, which means this is an 8, which means this is a 9, puts them a 0. Um, this space can't have larger than a 5 now, so this is 5 or 4. 4 would give a 9 here, but 5 gives an 8. That's valid. That puts in a 6, puts in this 8. So this actually is 0 if 1, and the 1 can't be in the row. That's the 44 clue, so the 0 is in there. That puts in where this could be 2 if 1. The 1 is now down below, so this is always 3 with 0. This is now 2 or 4. The 4 would put a 1 down below, which is invalid, but this can be a 2 if a 3. This now is a 4, 5, 6. Uh, notice this space can be a 2, 4, and above, but where the smallest value for this is a 2, um, none of these other values are going to work for it, so this must be a 2. This can be a 4 or 5 with a 0 or a 1 here. Let's see what else we have from this whole row coming across. This can be a 4, 5, 7. This can no longer be any digit except for a 4, just from the intersection. So 5, 6, 7, 8 are removed from the total value of the sum clue. Four of them are given the grid, and eight's not in this column. And 0, 1, 2, 3 are removed from the space. So this 4 looks pretty key. Gives us this 5, 0 for sure. It actually gives us this 7 for sure. We now just have 6, 8, 9 to finish this whole row. Remember, a 9 can't be in this space. 6 goes with 7, 8 goes with 5, 9 goes with 4, so we don't know more of those yet. Uh, 0 gives us 9 and 7 here, but again, a 9 can't be in the cell, so 7's on the left, 9's on the right. That puts an 8 up here, puts a 6 down here. You can remove the 8 and 9, leave behind a 7 and a 9 for these cells. 6 and 9 are relieved from the cells around here. That makes this an 8. This is a 9 and a 4. This already now adds up to 24, so this is a 0. 
largest value for this now is a 5, could also be a 4, but given this value over here, this has to be 8 to 5. We now just have values uh, 0 through 4 for these clues. So that will be a tension in some places like this, where it can't be a 0, because we need to be pretty large. So we're getting some good progress. Let's see if we can intercept back with the intended solving path. Uh, we've got only small values up to 3 on this side, so there's going to be some tension in these cells. If any of these values of 0, 1, or 2 are used here, we'd have to put 10 or something larger than 10 in that space. So this has to be a 3. More so this is a 1 or 2 with a 9 or 8. That then still gives us a 0, 1, 2, uh, 1, 2 here. 8 or 9 is going to also require this to be a 0, 1, 2 cell, so I think we actually have a, a triple that's eliminating a lot of options here. It means a cell over here can only be 3 or 4. It means a cell here can be something like 3 or 5 uh, coming up, but can't be smaller than that. It can also be a 6. It can also be an 8. Um, before we jump to that, though, a thing to think about is actually this 31. So 31 is 1 away from 30. 30 is a magic sum in 4 cells of 9, 8, 7, 6. So one thing for sure is this has to be larger than uh, 1 or larger. It can't contain a 0. So if a 9 is here, this would have to be 0, 2. If an 8 is here, this could be 1 or 2, or this could even be a 3. But these are all the values for the cell, 1, 2, 3. If this is a 3, that means the, the next smallest digit, um, 4, is going to be possible. 3 with 4 with 9, 8, 7 would work. So 4 is a critical minimum, but otherwise this will have to be higher than that. And remember, 4 is not possible here. So 5 is the smallest value for the cell, which means 3 is the largest value for the cell. It's the only value left that doesn't conflict with these. So this is actually a force constraint by thinking about this 11 clue this small value and then these coming across. So this is looking like very good progress. We still have 5, 6, 8 to finish the space. 5 would go with 7, that's okay. 6 would pair with itself. 8 would put in a 4. And if this is a 4, we now have 18 with 3, never going to get up to work. So this must be 5 with 7. And at least behind this is 6, 8. We've got 21 and uh, 3, 7 is no longer good, 2, 8 is fine, and 1 uh, is not going to work with that with another 9. So this is now 0, 1 in the space. Um, this 8 comes with a 6, puts in this 8, puts in this 0. That leaves this as the last space for a 0. We have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 in these cells. Uh, 3 with 9 is the only way these complete. If this is a 1, we'd actually leave behind 17, which is 9 or 8. That's not going to work, so this is a 2 with a 7, 9. That puts in this 1. Um, 14 could be 9 with 5, but those 9s are above. It could also be 8 and 6, and that's here. Um, I didn't do this at the start, but you actually could do sums of the center cage and recognize that these two cells have to add up to 2, but let me actually just go through this natural solve of the puzzle without doing big sums and kind of get to the same conclusion. By working through and actually solving the center, I think fixing the sum will fix the rest. So this 6 put in here can't now work with this 9 because 15 with 2 remaining and 3 cells is no good. But an 8 in here with 0, 1, 2 looks fine. That makes this value a 6, puts this in as a 2. So this is 0 or 1, which means this is 3 or 4. Got a 9 in here. Uh, we have this 1, 2 is going to make this a 3 or 4. So coming up here, we already have a value of 16. We need to get 12 more, but it can't be 3 with 9 or 4 with 5. So this is 5 with 7. 7 can't go in the cell, so this is 5. This is 7. This will be 0, 2, 0, 2 coming across, but 2 of 2 doesn't work. So this is 0, 4. This is 2. This must be a 0 now. This is a 1. This is a 3. This is a 4. This is a 1. And so we get back to what I said. You can use the sums to know these add up to 2. You can even have these be your second digits. After you place these zeros and recognize that the extras here add up to 2, these must both be 1s. But now we've got this 1, so this is 0, 1. That makes this a 2. We have to have this be a 2, this be a 0, this be a 1, and this be an 8, and we finish the grid. So a good standard cockrow with just a little bit of the addition of the zeros to play with the standard uh, interpretations. 
these long columns and these long columns work together, particularly at the start of the solve where we had large values or small values limited. Also the missing uh, digits that a one was out of this row or an eight was out of this column, these are all key to observe. So played a riff on even the puzzle from yesterday, which had unclued one to nine sets. This had clued missing digit one, uh, zero to nine sets but those work really well through the solve. So if you really pull together all the Kakura tricks you know, this wasn't necessarily a very hard Saturday puzzle, but uh, hopefully you got tips from this video to take to the future and solve these puzzles more easily going forward. We'll see you again soon.